Good evening, basketball fans, and welcome here to Laktashi, Bosnia. Heads go Vita for tonight's Game 2 fixture for the basketball champs league players between our host, Igor Kea, and the visitors, Apuel Atmo Hulonia. Well, this is a Game 2. Apuel Hulonia currently leading the series 1 0 after an emphatic victory against Igor Kea on their home court. And they'll be looking to make sure they take care of business here tonight on the road. A win tonight. We'll see them go to the round of 16. This is the Basel Champions League. Well, other games going on, of course. Pierce Theory B win of Elas Gris will be defending against Gedia or Jean Dijon, who are also one victory away from getting back to the round of 16. Remember, Coulonia met Dijon last season before going up against Six Strasbourg and booking their tickets to the Final Four, which was held in Bilbao. What's do a night here tonight? I mean, Joe Raglan, one of the greatest point guards here in the Basketball Champions League, already has set the record for most assists in the game, as he did against Legia Vasava with 18, beating the record of both Scotty Reynolds and Marcelino Huertas. Well, Reynolds making that record of 17 back in 2017, while well, Huertas only doing it just recently back in 2020. But now, the assist king of the Basketball Champions League is Joe Raglan. Well, Hayden Dalton played a fantastic game. They can see the American who used to play for Irabasso Nimburg. But he knows tonight, coach of Igo Kea, that he must get his players to come up big here to make sure they don't finish that season early. Well, Hulania, last season taking on Lenovo Tenerife in the semifinals of the Final Four. Well, retaining some of the key players, such as Joe Ragland, Chris Johnson, but also attaining Sean Dawson playing for Benet Hertzlia. Well, DeLeon also coming back with CJ Harris after playing for Hulani in 2020-21 on the way to the round of 16, to the quarterfinal, excuse me. Also joining Javin Delorier, the former Duke Blue Devil, now also key addition, started with Hulani here in December. Well, for Ligo Kea, a big booster for them is going to be the return of Kendrick Ray, which I have been told he will be playing here tonight, the former Ira Nimbo player, also played for Le Mans South in the Barcelona Champions This is now his third team. Kostin Kondic, the 21-year-old, playing some good minutes along with Nenad Naranzic. But the key player to look out for, the local Serbian player, Marko Yoshilo. Not to mention Brian Cl Crawford. But also it's going to be the high-flying shooting of Antabia Wala. Well, Wala playing in the Barcelona Champions League for KK Manaba alongside the likes of Mil Milko Bielica, the Montenegrin international. So having a bit of experience already at this level is going to be crucial. Remember, Ego Care, they've got to win here tonight. If they don't win, their Basel Champions League season is over again. So they got to take this to a game three. They must take it back to the north of Tel Aviv in the small town of Hulonia. Well, we're going to get set now to introduce our two teams here tonight through the players. But again, one thing Hulonia is going to try and do is make sure they dominate from the perimeter. I mean, this is a three-point shooting machine of a team. They really like to light it up from downtown. And that's something Ego K has got to try and match here tonight. Try to really make themselves, you know, a threat here on the offense. One thing they don't want to do is let Hulon come here and dictate every possession. And Chris Johnson, one of the versatile players, along with Joe Ragnar. But Sean Dawson, not renowned for scoring prowess. My word is one of the players who can definitely get the job done here for Achim Sagalim, the Purple Brothers, as they are known as. Well, tempo will be key in this game. Guy Gudis, the head coach of Hulania, knows that it's going to be tough to get back to the Final Four, but one win away from getting back on journey, back on track. Remember last season, they went down 0-1 against Besiktas and had to fight their way back, all the way back from Game 2, in which Guy Panini hit the big three-pointer. And when they took it back to Hulan, they came out victorious. But Ligo Kea, one of those teams, you know, there's definitely the talent in this team to compete, but... One thing is the consistency, trying to be able to compete with the big teams. The regular season's been a bit of a roller coaster, but it's probably looking like one of their best teams. Well, we're going to get set now to introduce our two officials from tonight's game. And again, we're very proud to say we have some of the finest officials here in World Basketball. They've done an excellent job in all of our competitions, and they'll continue to do so here tonight. Game two of the play-ins of the Basketball Champions League. Well, you can see there are three officials for tonight's game, and our officials are coming from Italy, Turkey, and Germany. Well, from Italy, we have Manuel Mazzoni. From Turkey, we have Karen Baki. 
And from Germany, we have Karsten Strauber. Again, Manuel Mazzoni, Karembaki, and Karsten Strauber from Germany, Turkey, and Italy. And it's going to be one hell of a showdown here tonight. Well, we're going to take a look at the starting lineups, so and we're going to start here, I guess, with the visitors of Hulanir. No doubt you're going to see Joe Ragnar. Now, they were bringing C.J. Harris off the bench in the last few games in both the Basel Champions League and in the Israeli Winter League, and starting that man right there, Niv Mizgav. Well, Niv Mizgav, very much a role player with his team, but, of course, due to the change of personnel this season and players coming in and out of the squad, he's had to step up and play some big moments. And again, he's in the starting lineup here with Joe Ragland. Well, Chris Johnson, Marvin Jones, and Hayden Dalton. It's a strong lineup. Marvin, Dr. Jones here, of course, having a big game. Dominating on both ends of the floor for Hulon Neal last week at home. And tonight, he's going to have to do the same thing if they're going to come up with a big victory and seal the sweep on this series. Remember, it is the best of three here in the play-ins. Hulon Neal leading by one point after emphatically destroying, I would love, it's fair to say, it was an annihilation of Ego K. I mean, Ego, Ego K is a good team. Don't take nothing away from them. But Guy Gudis, the head coach of this team, spent some time internationally with the Israeli national team, also the assistant of the Great Britain national team in the summer of 2015. Well, it's all about tempo in this game. They got to play hard here. Marco Yoshilo, Djordjevic, Mila Savlovic as well, Brian Crawford, and Nikola Tedaskovic. So no Kendrick Ray in the starting lineup. No Otavio Walla. This could be interesting. Maybe bring them off the bench as a tactical decision here for Igo Kea. But Yashilo's got to have a good game inside. He's got to be a scoring threat. Tanaskovic as well. Played good in the first quarter for head coach Dragon Bajic. And he knows that tonight he needs a big response from his players. They've got to play tough here tonight. They've got to play for each other. Well, we are moments away from tip-off, ladies and gentlemen, and it is going to be one hell of a showdown between these two teams. We just know it's the kind of game, of course, where you just got to come ready to play. Ego Care fighting for their life. Hulania just trying desperately to get to the round of 16. Last few home games, the Basel Champions League have been defeats here for Ego Care. Brian Crawford, though, getting plus 16 points in three of the last four games. He's been averaging 18.7 points per game, along with seven assists this season. So he's a primetime player that you can see. And Tavia Vala, Kendrick Ray, both starting on the bench here tonight for Igor Keo. Well, they see the last two away games for Basel Champions League. Well, they've lost the last two away games. Never been done since November 2018. As Joe Ragland leading the way here. But said last, last, he meant to say lost the last two games, of course. As the match just goes to show what a great team Hulani are. But well, it was the beginning of 2020 when after two years already, I'd say three seasons of the Basel Champions League, actually, because they came in 2017. It was a bit of a struggle, of course, for Hulani near the beginning, but they've adapted, and now they've made themselves a respectful contender year after year here. Well, those fans, of course, they know tonight. The anxiety will sit with them for 40 minutes. But back in Israel, in Hulani, the fans will be hoping for a big, big victory here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the round of six. Excuse me, this is the Basel Champions League play-ins. My apologies. Game two of the play-ins. Hulania leading this one, one to zero. A win tonight. They'll be going to the round of 16. Ego K are fighting for their lives here. They must win tonight in a must-win game. Don't go anywhere. 
Basel Chapsic Plains, game two, we're underway. Well, Eagle Kale will have the first possession as Ryan Crawford tries to get things going here for the home team. We're getting a solid handoff now, trying to get this movement going. One thing Eagle Kale did a good job in the early stage of the last game is they did a good job of controlling the tempo, but there's a turnover. Ragley coming up with now. He's got numbers with him. Finds Hayden Dalton now. Eagle Kale's transition. Good help side defense. Good denial here. Jones now trying to back up. Goes for a tough fadeaway in the mid-range. Oh, doesn't get it. As now Brian Crawford comes over the rebound. Well, Eagle Kale will try to push this one as much as possible. They want to get as many, but they're going to go for an offensive foul. So not the kind of start they would have wanted in this one. Well, Eagle Kale definitely will want to push the tempo in this. I mean, they've got to try and play an up-tempo basketball. Now, I'm not saying try to force everything, but they've got to try and get as much as possible in transition to really put Hulan under pressure. But again, those kind of plays there are going to be so costly. The offensive foul court against Dragan Milosavljevic. Oh, Hulan here now, just trying to get things going in their offense. Remember, the expectations very big on Hulan after making the Final Four last season. Raglan now looking for the dot, finds Jones. Jones turns it over. And again, good defense here from Eagle Kea. We're just trying to cement the tempo in this game. Of course, these two teams probably try to settle the nerves off. But, you know, I'd say the pressure on this one probably will be more on Eagle Kea being down 1-0, of course. But Jones now in the lane. It goes up, gets the and one. Strong move by Stefan Djordjevic. Well, Djordjevic just taking it right at Bob and Jones. Now, here's the thing for Hulania. Due to the lack of size, they've got the low block. They cannot afford Marvin Jones to get into too much foul trouble. But Georgievich will go the free throw line here for two shots. Well, Georgievich, 24 years of age, played at FMP Zelesnik before coming to Igor Kea. It was back in 2021 now. Now trying to make Waktashi here in Bosnia heads to go in his new home. Heavy defense. Another turnover. Good steal. Now what do we have here? Well, Joe Ragland comes up with it. Ragland finding Chris Johnson under the basket. And again, a waste of opportunity there for Eagle Kea to really push that. Well, it's those kind of plays. Eagle Kea, they just can't afford to make those turnovers. If they get a chance to get out in transition, they got to capitalize. Brian down the middle now, kicking this one out, finding Marco Yoshilo. Yoshilo now, now using the screen, going to his right, trying to take on Dalton, goes up and it kisses that one off the backboard. But Yoshilo, but again, Chris Johnson here in transition again. Joe Ragland throwing the cross court dimes. Rags now coming off one screen with Johnson, hesitates it. Heavily got it by Milosavljevic, it's gonna go out of bounds. And that's gonna be baseline ball to Hulania. Well, if you're watching us live here tonight, let us know who are you supporting. Are you supporting Apoel Hulani or are you supporting Igor Kea? Let us know. Raglan. Well, he set another record last week as he became the fifth player in the history of the Basketball Champions League to get over 300 assists. And I think the officials will double check this because we do have a head coach challenge now from Coach Bayic of Igor Kea. Well, look at the replay. Look at the dime there. I think he might be right there. I mean, maybe if they slow that one down, it does look like he comes off of Chris Johnson. This is maybe a slight touch there, but does it? No, it's going to be Ego Care Ball. So that's a good challenge from Dragon Bayic. So that is going to be Ego Care Ball on the baseline.
because it clearly comes off of Chris Johnson on the last touch. So now the officials just probably need to overturn this one. Well, good decision by the referees and a good challenge there from Coach Dragon Bayic. Remember, coaches this season getting the advantage of having a head coach challenge in each game. Crawford now here, heavily guided by Joe Ragan. Good matchup between these two teams and these two players last week. We'll give this one up now. He throws it down to the big man now. Kicks out again. Milosavljevic. Three is up. Three is good. Ego KO. Got to maintain this going forward. Cool on the end now. Need to ride the storm. Needs to get themselves undercomposed. Rags now. Lobs. Oh! Baby, are you serious? Dr. Marvin Jones connection with Joe Raglan, the Dime King. Well, you got to show me that one one more time. Well, Crawford now pulls up for a three-pointer, doesn't get it. Another offensive rebound. Good battle here from Ego Kea. Tries to bump now, goes up and under the basket. He finishes that one under pressure. Well, Stefan Georgievic again taking it right to Marvin Jones. Rags now, Jones one more time. Jones having a buffet in the paint. But again, who else? Where does he get the buckets from? Dots coming from the King Facilitator. Well, right now, maybe taking a few steps to get to the lane, a traveling violation. Well, just when I said he took a few too many steps there. Dalton now steps back, three-pointer takes it, nails it. And again, if he gets off to a hot hand, it could be a problem here for Igo Kea. Well, he had four three-pointers last week. Akulon against Igo Kea. Shot the lights out. The perimeter shooting does cause him a lot of problems now. He goes all the way. Lose control. That's going to be possession back to Igo Kea. That's much better there from Brian Crawford. I mean, he's got to take it to Hulania. He's got to show the confidence. Actually comes off Nib Mizgab, actually. So good defense. Marvin Jones, just a few words there for Brian Crawford. Crawford, the floater, right over Jones. And just responds to say, you what? In this gap now, taking care of the pressure now. Raglan kicks out to Dalton. Dalton pump fakes. Well, gets his pocket pick. Good defense by Yoshilo. And now Nikola Tanaskovic here. Had a very good first half against Hulon last week. There's the lob. Oh my goodness gracious, Havala! Thank you very much. Wow, are you serious? Stefan Jordovich. Well, who said the big man can't fly? It's Mizgat now fights. Oh, baby! Lila Tov, Marvin, Dr. Jones, we got a dunk fest. Basketball champs in dunk competition. I see a 9, 10, and an 8 on that one. Well, these two teams, they got donuts in the house. They're just dunking everything. Well, there's a kick out. There's a three-point at the moment. Igo Kea continuing to pile the pressure for the perimeter. Good three-point up. Well, again, who else? Marco Yoshilo. Well, the one player needs to have a good game here tonight. Well, Ragnar now. Razzle Dazzle. One more time! Lila Tov, Bavakasha, Toda, Rapa. Thank you very much. Are you serious? This is unreal at the moment. Well, Ego Kea, they want to go for tray balls. Kulanir, they want to go alley -oops. The dime under the basket. This is a beautiful basket. Dragon Milosavljevic finding Stefan Georgievich under the basket. Well, this might be the most entertaining first quarter we've had this season. Miz got now looking for options. Dalton made his last three. Takes another one, doesn't get it, but he's fouled in the process. So Aiden Dalton will go to the free throw line here for three shots. Well, we have seen some unreal action so far. Alley-oops, throwdowns, beautiful dimes. Well, there was a foul there, the overzealous play from Marco Yoshilo. So Aiden Dalton now currently the free throw line for Hulania. Well, I'd say he made his introduction to the basketball champs. You can find fashion back in 2019 
when he played for Aaron Nimbuk. Well, Dalton originally from Parker, Colorado, went to Central Wyoming and then transferred to the University of Wyoming, leaving after 2018. Now, he started his career actually with Back in Bears back in 2018. Well, just like Devon Cooper Sell, many great players coming through the Bears Academy in the professional stages. is now Sean Dawson checks into the game here for Aiden Dalton. Well, four-point ball game here to Igor Kea. Brian Crawford now tries to go off the back hole, kisses that one. Beautiful little play, heavily guarded by Joe Ragland. And that's how Brian Crawford's got to play here tonight. He's got to take it to Ragland. He's got to compete here. He's up to four points now. Six-point lead here to Ego Kea. Remember the home team fighting for their existence. They must win here tonight. C.J. Harris also checking to the game. And Jones can't take the mid-range shots. Hits the front iron, doesn't get it. The rebound secured for Mila Savjevic. Well, there's the crossover now under the basket. Again, doesn't get it. Well, he's got to score that one. Tanaskovic has got to capitalize. Could have made an eight-point game, but now Raglan. Raglan now razzle-dazzle one more time. Are you kidding me? This guy has come ready to play the connection. Razzle Daggle. Ragland with Marvin Dr. Jones. How many alley oops we've have we had? I think we've had more alley oops than turnovers. Well, Brian Crawford now deep three takes another one, doesn't get it. Another offensive rebound. And again, Eagle Kea going in for second chances. Hungry to stay alive here in the Basketball Champions League. But it's only now a six-point ball game. Kulani now want to go back to that one-two punch. Ragland tries to split the defense, doesn't get it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, look out below. What do we have here? We'll throw it out. Dragon, you know, Savjevic, the guy Goodis, all of a sudden, he's going to call timeout. As his team now trail by eight points here. Well, let's go and listen now to hear what Guy Goodis has to say to his players. There's, there's nobody here and we're not talking on defense. Nobody in the gym, bro. Hey, pack the pace. Stop hogging our man. Oh, yo, that's first off. Talk. They play a double ball screen. Right now, all the points is inside the paint. Penetrate shot. Rebound shot. Pass the ball shot. Okay, contestant. You're going to play the four man. You're going to play the five man. Okay? Gonna run Menos zone. Menos zone, we're gonna run the, the five. Okay, so you're gonna pass to, to Javin. Pass to Javin. Marvin, you cut inside if you have the pass, fine. Menos zone. You don't have it, you go to the corner. Then you try to go corner to the wall. After that, you show yourself corner to high on the five. Okay, let's go. Well, I tell you something, Basel fans, what have we seen so far here in the first quarter? We've seen some high-flying action. We've seen alley-oops, throwdowns. Well, Delaurier, the former Duke Blue Devil, who only just joined Hulania back in December, has checked in the game probably to relieve Marvin Jones for a few minutes. Well, my mind, he's played some phenomenal basketball. Well, again, ladies and gentlemen, let us know. Who are you supporting? Are you supporting Hulania or are you supporting Igor Kea? Only an eight-point game here to the host. Sean Dawson bring the ball up now for Hulon. Well, Delari is going to play power forward here, which is interesting. Right now, getting caught a double team. Trying to go baseline. Throws up one more time. Jones can't connect with it. Well, scrambles all over the floor. And now Igor Kea can turn this to double digits. Well, Kendrick Gray checking into the game. Goes for a quick three-pointer. Maybe just rushing that one. A little overzealous. Well, Razzle Dazzle. Raglan hanging in the air. Doesn't get it, but the follow-up. Well, that's why Marvin Dr. Jones is in there. Well, Hulon here now trying to ride the storm here, trying to weather the pressure here. But, you know, here's one player, as we've seen so many times when he played for Ike, when he played for Aaron Inberg, Lamont, another step back, three-pointer, can't get it, but another offensive rebound. Tries to go in, a beautiful follow-up for Igor Kea. And who else? Stefan Georgievich. 
Well, single-handedly with 11 points now, leading the way here for Igor Kea. You can see the help side defense from Igor Kea not allowing Marvin Jones to get that alley-oop off the pick and roll. Well, Harris now, one more finds the Laurier. Well, Naranzic, maybe lucky there not to get called for a foul as he did try to block the Laurier on the alley-oop, but it's gonna be a baseline ball with 3.5 seconds left. Well, watch Naranzic, I'd say he's lucky because he does bump DeLaurier as he tries to go up. So 3.5 seconds left. Hayden Dalton back in the game. Well, we got to get him bound now. Dalton catch and shoot. Three is up. And again. Oh, deja vu. Are you serious? Ego Kea have done the same thing defensively against Hayden Dalton as they did the last time he took a three-point. They fouled him. So HD will go back to the free throw line here for it again. Three free shots. Well, there's Aiden Dalton, fade away. Naranzic just lands into him. As Dalton makes the first free throw. Well, after his time when he played for Nimburg, did go and play in the French LMB, the Pro A, one of the top professional domestic leagues here in the world. And just after that, spent some time with Hereda San Pablo Burgos before transferring last season to Julania, where since then he's probably looked most comfortable, most at home here with the Israeli fans. Again, missed another free throw. Seven point lead here to Igor Kea. Remember, they must win this game, must take it to a game three. It's Kendrick right now here on the board, trying to get things going. Right, throwing it down low, looking for a dump down, goes up with it too big and strong, gets his own rebound, and the foul is going to be called against Aiden Dalton. Well, Nikola Maric, again, has the size in the mismatch against Dalton. So that's going to be two free throws for the big man. Marich had a relatively quiet game, of course, last week here against Kulani. Again, one thing he's got to try and do is really assert himself in the low block. You know, I think if Igor Kea can try and battle for as many offensive rebounds as much as possible, he can definitely give himself a chance of winning this game. Eight-point lead now to the hosts. Potential two for one now here for Kulani. Mizgav, split about the three-point five. Delari under the basket, bumps, no foul called. And again, he just kisses that one off the backboard. The assist coming from Niz Mizgav. Well, that was a smart play by Hulania, cutting it down to a six-point ball game. If they get a stop here on defense, it could be a potential two-for-one. Right now, split the defense. Down low, beautiful pass, finds Marich. A traveling violation. Well, the two-for-one is on here. And Dragon Bayic, very disappointed with that decision. We're gonna dribble this one down here for the last shot. CJ Harris. Imagine gonna try and spread the floor, run a pick and roll here. We find Niv Mizgav. Back to Harris now. Five on the clock. Harris. Foul has been committed. That's not a bad foul by Brian Crawford. Because it was the last team foul. So now it gives Hulania 4.9 seconds. Well, I'd say he's very lucky there because there isn't really a genuine attempt to go for the basketball, but I think the officials. Quite happy to let that one go. Well, we got to get the ball inbound. Dawson now finding Harris. Harris against Naranzic, pulls up three, doesn't get it. And ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the first quarter, Igo Kea lead by six points here in game two of the basketball champs he plays. Hulania leading the series one to zero. We'll show you some stats and some highlights here for the first half, but at the moment, Igo Kea fighting for their existence. Well, so far, Igor Kea, 10 for 11 from inside the rainbow, but they're getting a lot of points from Djordjevic, along with Maric Tanaskovic. Well, Tanaskovic, actually, with only two points, and he can see only one three-point of Hulania. Let's take a look at the highlights here from the first quarter.
Okay, it's been good ball movement, but Djordjevic, I mean, just under the basket. Too big, too strong, and just too good. The defense and now finding Chris Johnson wide open under the basket. He didn't play on the weekend in their Winter League matchup against Benet Hutzlio where they lost, but strong move by Marco Yoshilo. But Tanaskovic, there was the shot from downtown. But look at the alley-oop. Dr. Jones reporting for duty. Win the lay now. Again, Djordjevic looking like a baby Jokic out there. And there's a three-point by Aiden Dalton. Step back. I'd like to call him maybe Hula Nia Larry Bird out there. And that was the floater by Brian Crawford. Again, just to get right to Bob Jones. And the alley -oop time. Waku notch. Good night. But again, Jones with no regard for Djordjevic's feelings. And good ball movement here from Igor Kea. Effectively just moving the ball, but again, look out below. It's Marvin Jones, but the dime there. Are you kidding me? Finding Djordjevic, baby Jokic wide open. And Brian Crawford again. Putting the moves on, Razzle Dazzle turns it over. There's a throw down in transition. We gotta love the tempo. Well now, ladies and gentlemen, we begin the second quarter. Hulania still trailing in this one, but again, not letting Igor Kerr run away with it. Six point lead here to the hosts. Well, Harris now pulls up. Long two point, bad shot there. As Igor Kerr, well they got Dawson, Harris. Delorier along with Dalton and Niv Mizgab currently still on the floor, but it's going to be position, possession back to Igor Kea. <laughs> trying to go for a long walk, puts up a long shot, doesn't get it. Well, they got to get some rhythm now. They don't want to try and force too much here as Miscap goes for a little floater, doesn't get it. Well, again, good fight for the offensive rebounds by Dalton. Dalton now, no foul. Well, foul has been called. As now, Hulania Larry Bird will go to the free throw line for the two shots. The foul is going to be called against Antabia Walla. That's good hands by Walla because if he missed times that one, you're looking at a potential on Sportsman Life. But it's definitely a foul because he goes across him. But the problem here for Antavio Wilder, that's his second personal foul. As Dalton now makes the first free throw. One offensive rebound now. Dalton now falling over, turns it over. Antavio Wilder turning it right back over. It's sloppy basketball here from Eagle Kea. Well, just when they play good defense, forcing Dalton to throw the ball away. You know, Eagle K and not a great team to get out in transition. That's something they're going to struggle with here as this game progresses. Harris here with under 14 of the shot clock. Has a switch on defense. Tries to go to work now. Kicks out to Mizgap. Mizgap, big, big three, puts it up. No good. And again, Hulu with only one three pointer here in the game. And goes all the way now. Kicks this one out. That's a three point attempt. Doesn't go for it. Tanaskovic here, heavily defended. And now they go to Naranzic. Naranzic back to Kendrick. Well, a few seconds left. Splits the defense. And there's a kick out. Three pointer and the shot clock. Doesn't get it. The rebound secured, and now Hulan can push this one. Well, Hulan now, again, not trying to get out too quickly here. Only trailing by five. Dorset running off one screen. Under the basket play there, Delarier fumbles it. Wide open, Dalton three, doesn't get it. Well, he's only made one three-pointer here tonight. It's the only tray ball for Hulan here. You can see a little bit rattled at the moment, Hulan. And again, they got to sell the nerves here. But that's good ball movement. They got a pick and roll, they got a ball down low, a kick out and then a ball reversal. You can't argue with that shot, but they got to knock these down. There's now Razzle Dazzle Raglan is back in the game. Well, 
heavily guarded here by CJ Harris. Good help side defense now. Give it go play. Oh, good. And that is beautiful basketball. Good hands by Aiden Dalton. Well, that was going to be the play of the season there for Ego Kea. But Aiden Dalton just put his hand in the cookie jar at the right moment. I mean, look at the bull move, the pick and roll, the dump down. But look at the hands there. There may have been a foul. Tanaskovic maybe should be going to the free throw line. And there you can see head coach, well, the assistant coach of Ego Kea. Well, I think Tanaskovic, very unlucky player not to be getting two shots at the moment. Go get, getting it down really quickly. Don't get anything. It's now Ragman. Well, he had Chris Johnson ahead of him, but good transition defense by Ego Kea. Ragman all the way doesn't get it. The follow up by Delarier. I'm not sure they called a foul on here because it did look like Ragman had a bit of contact when he went to the basket. I think that's who they called on Kendrick Ray. So it's going to be too free. I mean, watch Ragman here. Oh, clear as daylight's a foul. So Rags will go to the free throw line here for two shots. As then Tabio Walla. Who shot the lights out last weekend for Ego Kea? We'll go to the bench, take a breather. Well, Joe Raglan, prior to playing against Ego Kea in the basketball champs, he also played against Ego Kea. Well, domestically, when he was playing in Belgrade, Serbia, has never lost to Ego Kea in now both the Basel Champions League and in both club competitions. But that could change here tonight. Does Ego Kea have a three point lead? Well, just over seven and a half to go. Kendrick now pulls up in the mid range and Stingray nails it for 15 feet. Well, do you remember the Ike, the era of Basel Nimburg, and the Le Mans South days? Harris for a pick and pop, doesn't get it. Delaria offensive rebound, too big, too strong, and just too good. The former Duke Blue Devil punishing Ego Camp for not boxing him out properly. Well, looking for a hesitation now. Tanaskovic, gotta get something going. Well, excuse me, Mila Savjevic. Tries to dunk down, beautiful pass. Finds it, no and one, but again, beautiful play. This time it's Nikola Maric. Well, without Djordjevic on the floor, Maric has got to be the force here in the low block. Well, Razzle Dazzle, Ragland all the way, reverse slam. Oh my goodness gracious! Give Joe Ragland some credit. He has been terrific. Well, he now goes up now. Kendrick pulls up again, and one more tower. Doesn't get that one, it rattles out. It's a three on two now. Harris all the way, kicks out, finds Fabrique Bordillon, three in the corner, too much. Delorier with the offensive rebound. Raglan for three. Raglan nails it. Le Chaloche for Vakasha. And all of a sudden, Ego Kea have to call timeout. As Raglan gets back to back field goals, taking his tally up to seven points and cutting it down to a three point ball game. Ma 
Trying to get something going here. I'm trying to push the tempo. You go care with a tie ball game here. They've allowed their lead to disintegrate. There's a three and against way off the mark. And Kulania will be happy to see those kind of shots taken. Well, Raglan has been the key focal point here. Almost the face of Kulania. For the last two seasons with C.G. Harris. Almost fumbling that one now. Trying to go for the penetration, the inside finger roll. Well, Harris looking like George Gervin with a hula near jersey. Iceman taking that one straight to the bucket. Or well, giving hula on a two point lead. And then the Savage now looking to take a bump. It's got to be a foul. Now, here's going to be the interesting part. Is it going to be a shooting foul? Because he does pass it in the end. Well, it's definitely a foul right there. The question is, will Dragon Milosevic, Mila Savjevic, excuse me, go to the free throw line? Well, no, it's going to be a baseline ball because it was a pass. Crawford trying to use the ball screen now at the 10. Cross court, Djordjevic giving this one, goes on the middle. And baby Jokic. Oh, he is a baby, Nikola Jokic. Baby Joker going to work. Lane now, Harris bumps and again he's taking this one over. Goes off the backdoor plate. Well, CJ Harris at the moment just going to work. Well, he now moves up to four points, two for three from the field this evening. Well, Raglan now coming up a loose ball there. They two, one more time. Well, good night. We have liftoff. Marvin Jones, this guy's phenomenal. Well, they say there's walking buckets, and then there's flying buckets. We're trying to go for a pick and roll sequence himself again. And the hands reach in. It's going to be a foul, so it's going to be two free throw shots. The foul is going to be caught against Marvin Jones. So Dragon Milosavljevic. So Jones is going to have to leave the game now because they can't afford him to pick up too many fouls. It's his second personal foul, so Guy Goodis has got a decision to make out here. Keep him in or take him out. Well, Dragon Milosavljevic playing for some, some big-time clubs, of course. Played for Radnitschke back in 2009. Also played in the Germany, German Easy Credit Bundesliga. And the Turkish basketball Super League, but also the ACB for Fuenlabrada and for Mega Basket, the club that developed players such as Goga Batadze, the Indiana Pacer, played for the Georgian National, as well as Nikola Jovic of the Miami Heat, and the Joker, probably the greatest center in the NBA today. Well, Harris now loses dribble, turns it over, good defense. Well, Eagle can't try to push us. Well, what do we have here? It goes up and he lays it up in transition. Well, that's much better. 
And again, something I've been very critical of Vigo Kansas, the inability to get points in transition. As Brian Crawford beautifully lays out one of the assist coming from Mako Yoshilo. Right now, driven into trouble, finding Chris Johnson. Stepping out of bounds. Hula near turnover, but they are leading by one point with 3.43 to go here. There's a kick out now. Dumped out here. Almost turning into Rands. He's trying to save this one. I think he did step out, so it's going to be a backcourt violation. Sloppy offense there from Ego Care. Well, you can see Naranzic just trying to save it, but did step on the line. Well, that's not what Ego Care wanted. They got to take care of the basketball. They got to be a lot smarter. Well, Marvin Jones, with two fouls. Guy Goodis is taking a gamble by keeping him in the game. Well, that's probably because he knows at the moment is that Ego Care don't have an answer for him. The foul is going to be called here against Brian Crawford. Still a one-point lead to Hulania. Raglan now. Finding Jones in the lane now. Finds Bordillon again. Well, Bordillon wasn't going to take that one to paint, so he tried to pass it up. He turned it over. But Ego Kek can retake the lead. Trailing by one point. There's a pick and roll. Kicks out to Yashilo. Yashilo, three, takes it. Offensive rebound. Well, baby Joker will not be denied. And again, Stefan Djordjevic, the basketball Champions League Joker, the baby Jokic. Boy, he is simply unstoppable here this evening. Well, he's dominating this game. Simple as that. He has 15 points so far here in the first, first half. The guy Goodis has a problem. It's keeping him off the rebounds. Man of zone. Man of zone. It's just when he did it and he go shoot up, slide more to his left, make him spin back right. Now let's go to the gun. Uh, number 21 on you. So you start here with 21. Set a good skin, move him away. Okay? Uh, Javin, you're the first inner. You're here on the weak side. Okay? Gun, 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 move it away from you. Move it away, get to a corner, pick it off, play out. Get the corner, fly. Leave a tackle, stay, leave. Let's go, guys. Well, Rags just trying to get a few words in with Guy Goodis. Well, it's very easy when you're leading, of course. And to go on the road, because you almost think it's one game away. You don't really want to take it back for another game three in front of your home crowd where almost anything could happen. As we saw that happen to Apple Bank, you have your Hushalim last season. where well, they came up short in the play-ins where they were led by Retton Obasahan. A misgap now. Pick and pop, finding Delorier. Raglan takes another 3-3 three. Three is up, no good. Well, Hulana is struggling for the perimeter. One thing they've really not been able to capitalize is shooting from downtown here in the first half. But good defense from Igo Kea. Well, look at the size up now here. Milo Savjevic trying to put the ball on the floor. And we got another foul. And that's the last team foul for Hulania to commit. Well, sideline ball here to Ego Kea. A bit of a push now 
Fast Georgievich under the basket, the reverse set. Are you kidding me? Baby Joker, baby Jokic, forget that. Stefan Georgievic just dominating this game right now. Well, there's a dump down. Fast Brett, the reverse set. He is looking like Nikola Jokic here in the BCL. I mean, his movement, his hands under the basket. Well, he is just a prime time player. Well, Stefan Georgievic is only 24 years of age. We may be looking at the future. What is the cross court now? Jones now looking to isolate here against Naranzic. Another foul's coming. That's the last foul of Rigo Kea. Naranzic has committed some silly errors here so far. Well, Jones looking for the post up, and again, Naranzic can't guard it. That's as simple as that. He's got no choice but to foul him. Well, Bordillon steps out of bounds. So they turn up a good defense by Marco Yoshilo. When the lay now kicks out to Naranzic, tries a three. Three is up. The three is beautiful. Tucked away. Well, I think he heard me. And I think he said, I'm not making any more mistakes. As he puts Ego Care back up by seven points. Beautifully executed there from the host of penetration to kick out. And now Hulania trying to go pick a roll here with Delarie. Get Hulan spacing here on offense. Not doing him any favors. Raglan has to force up another three. And again, finally gets it. I think we got an M1. So Razzle Dazzle will go the free throw line here for the four point play. Well, look at Rags here, and who else? Naranzic, the second one he's committed. That's the second time he's done that tonight. Well, that is just a costly error to commit here, not the one you want to make. Raglan now can cut this down to a three-point ball, but again, missed the free throw. And Kulania's free throw shooting has let them down here this evening. But well, it's only a four-point ball game, but, you know, to their standards, a team that wants to make the Final Four, you would have thought maybe coming here on the road, it's Kendrick all the way. And again, turns it over. Sloppy play by Kendrick Gray. Well, good defense by Delarie. Dolt now finding Frederick Bordillion on the dribble handoff from Kulania. Right, we find Bordillion. This is last three, takes another one. This time he gets it. Well, s'il vous plaît, Monsieur Bordillion from downtown. Well, the French Israeli cutting it down to a one point bowl game. And that was a big time shot. Well, you go, Kev, moving the ball. The three is up, no good. Yashilo tipping. Find Brian Crawford. Tries to go behind the back. That goes over the backboard. Now 10 seconds here on the shot clock. 13.9 in the first half. So if you're ego care, you want to run it down. Do not allow Hulan to get another shot. Be smart here. Yashila now throwing this one down low. This shot to the big man goes in a little jump up. Well, doesn't get it. And now Hulan with a bit of time here. Raglan finds Bordillion. No man's land. And again, way off the mark. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the first half, Ego Kea, who need to win this one, lead by one point against Hulania.
45 to 44. This is the Basel Champs League play-ins. Game two. Hulan leading the series by one. One to zero. A win tonight here for Hulan. We'll see them go to the round of 16. A win for Igoke up. We'll see us go to a game three next week. We'll combine total seven three-pointers for 23 between these two teams. But Igo K 16 for 20 with inside the rainbow. Hulan missing five free throws. You make all those free throws, you win this game. But the rebound's definitely going in favor by one. Not much difference between these two teams, but eight steals for the host so far. Oh, it's just been a good game of basketball. Simple as that. I mean, these two teams really have battled each other. But what a game it has been. Well, momentarily, ladies and gentlemen, we will show the highlights. Go get a drink. Go somewhere to eat, but don't go anywhere too long. We'll be back. Well, Eagle K, I mean, they've got to do a good job. I mean, there's Baby Jokic. Djokovic drawing the foul against Marvin Jones. But look at Yashilo here. Contact. Taking that one right at Aiden Dalton. But the post up again, kicking that one out to Milo Savjevic. The three from downtown. The three is good when you're on fire popping. But the aviation class from Dr. Marvin Jones. Well, there was a step back three. Aiden Dalton more looking like an Israeli Harry Bur Larry Bird, excuse me. Thunder alley, but Marvin Jones responds down the other end. We had a Basel Champions League dunk competition. Well, Yashilo has got to keep shooting like that from downtown. He's got to give him a chance. They've got to play tough in time. They've got to be one unit. And they cannot give up on each other. If they're going to come up with a victory. There's the dump down. Fine marriage. Well, marriage playing up a reserve, but Razzle Dow's on the lane. Goes in with a reverse left, and that's B E A. Beautiful. There's the offensive rebound by Delorier. Fine and Razzle Dazzle. Raglan for three in the corner. And it was a big time three pointer. And you can see the inside ice mat Fangirl taking Georgievich to school. Tough move by CJ Harris. Djokovic, baby Joker, Djokovic we might call him. Djokovic, of course, is playing some good pass with it around, but against the hands of the reverse layup. Having a phenomenal game at the moment. He is dominating on both ends of the floor. 18 points, three rebounds, and one assist. Transition there. You can see hitting the three point by Razzle Dazzle. And there was a the three pointer cutting down to a one point ball game by Frederic Bordignon.
Barbosa. Intercepted by Weiss. Oh, some mirror glue. Weiss! This time he doesn't miss. Turn this over, behind the back, easy pass, easy score, easy fast break, execution. Spins, crosses mid-court. as well. Trying to break the zone defense down, the full court pressure. Well, there's a deception. Again, up, out of the way. E. Akshamlar. Good night, Kashyaka. That is for you.
Well, welcome back, Basel fans, here to the second half. Game two of the Basel Champions League players. Hulania leading the series. 1-0 at the moment. They win this one. They'll be going through to the round of 16. Igo Kea with a one-point lead, fighting for their lives. Well, Igo Kea have got Tanaskovic, Brian Crawford, Maki Yoshilo, Milo Savivic, and Georgievic all in the corner. The most Georgievic, 18 points for Igo Kea. Well, big man. Well, there's a pump fake by Crawford. The three is up. No good. Fighting for the offensive rebounds, but Delaurier coming off with it. Throwing that one off the body. Oh, Dragon. Milo Savjevic. That's to be possession back to Hula Well, Good hustle there. That was CJ Harrison did that one. Well, Hula Nia with Joe Radlin, Chris Johnson, CJ Harris, Aiden Dalton, and Delario on the floor. He'll play the five man role. Well, Harris waiting for the backdoor play coming from Johnson. Well, a hot foul from Brian Crawford. It's going to be two free throws to Chris Johnson, the former NBA player. Well, Johnson has been held on the raw. I think he was just trying to make a little bit of time and space before he decided to go to the bucket off the original pick and roll with C.J. Harris. But, well, Chris Johnson went to Israel primarily to play with Applewell Bank. You have Yehushalayim, their rivals, who they defeated in the Israeli Winter League semifinals in the playoffs last season before defeating B'nai Hutzlia and picking up their second Israeli Winter League championship. Well, the first time they won it was back in 2008 where they were led by a famous NBA player by the names of P.J. Tucker. Delarier follows up. Well, Ego Kea just finished their last donut. And nobody shot a box out. But Delarier said, I'll come in for the two-headed jam. Hulanir now taking the lead. Double team coming. The gamble. Well, what do we have here? Hey, Dalton, they got numbers. Dalton goes in. Waste the transition there. Well, good transition defense by Igor Kea. Slowing down the fast break from Hulanir, but a foul has been committed. Well, the foul is going to be against Marco Yoshilo. Raglan now trying to use the ball screen from Delaurier. That's the crossover. There's the alley again, but again, heavily defended. Now they got numbers here. Yashil all the way goes up, avoids the block, but gets blocked by the rim. They'll try to avoid the block from Chris Johnson. Raglan pulls up for a three and transition. The three is up, and Le Chalush with like a shot from downtown. And now he's starting to heat up here, just like they did in the last game. Remember, they led by four points. At the end of the first half, that's good help side defense by Delaurier. You can see that Tanaskovic felt the block was coming. Harris goes in, beautiful Euro step gets rejected, but Delaurier with the follow up. Well, Raglan heavily got by Bryant. Raglan down the lane goes in, too much on it. And now Ego Kea comes up with it. But Ego Kea has got to be a bit better here in transition. Brian Crawford. Find and drag him on Milosavljevic. Spin out move goes in. Fouls big cool. He'll go to the free throw line here for two shots. That's a nice spin out there against the Laurier by Milosavljevic. Well, foul is called against Javin Delaurier. So Milosavljevic will go to the free throw line here for the two shots. Well, originally from Khrushchevats in Serbia, currently 33 years of age. As you mentioned, did play for Rednich. He also played for one of the big teams in Partizan, in Belgrade, excuse me. He played for Unikaha, rivals of the Basketball Champions League.
Well, Milosavljevic picks up his second personal foul again. Both these two teams don't want to get into too much foul trouble. Not too much concern for these two teams at the moment. But now you can see here, Harris coming off the screen, looking for the pick and pop, finds Johnson. Kicks out here to CJ Harris. Who on here now, the two point lead. Harris down the middle, step back, pump fakes, bit of contact, no foul called. Dalton comes up with it. But gotta get a shot up now, no, no time left, and 24 second violation. Good defense by Igor Kea. Well, they must win this game. Well, somebody's got to tell C.J. Harris that the ball didn't touch the rim, but lacking communication there from the Hulania players. Dragon now coming off one screen, doesn't use it. Stefan Djordjevic now trying to run circles here. The big man hasn't touched the ball so far here in the second half. Seven on the shot clock now. Lewis Savage finds the big man, goes up, takes it, doesn't get it. They get an offensive rebound, good ball with Yashilo. He'll try a three, three is up, three is nothing. But net by Marco Yashilo from downtown. Well, Igor Kea believing, not giving up. DeLaurier now hangs in the air. He draws a foul. He will go back to the free throw line. Well, did play for Mike Krzyzewski at the infamous Duke University. Well, he was a Blue Devil, but now it's fair to say he is a Purple Tiger. I wouldn't say Purple Devil because they are the Purple Tigers. Well, Hulania with a one-point lead, a win tonight. They'll go through to the round of 16. Well, they'll meet their arch rivals. Apoel, Bank Yahab, Yahushalayim. There's a penetration down the middle of the floaters again. Dalton with the rebounds. And now Hulan can push this one. Well, Raglan doesn't want to use the ball screen here from Hayden Dalton. Wants to go now with Delarie. Picks his drill up now. Nowhere to go with this one. One to 10 the shot clock. Well, tries to dump down to Chris Johnson, but not the right option to go for. Good defense from Igor Kea. Well, another chance now for Igor Kea to retake the lead on this one. And the dude just had a beautiful ice in and dice in his way to the basket. Brian Crawford now up to eight points. He's four for four from the field this evening. Needs to maintain this going forward. Remember, Igor Kea must give every last ounce of energy here tonight. Every little effort will count here. Ragland kicks out. Johnson hasn't taken the three tonight. Chris Johnson, again, stepping up big time there for Sagoli Machim. Well, the Purple Brothers back home, you can hear them. Yala, Hulani, as they would say. Desperate to get to the round of 16. Desperate to get back to the BCL Final Four. This is the Basel Champions League. Hulania have become a respectful contender year after year. The pick and pop, three is up, no good. An offensive rebound there by Baby Jokic. Well, Georgievich hasn't scored so far here in the second half. Remember, he's got 18 points here tonight. That's a penetration by Mila Savivic. He got to get a shot. 24 second violation. Well, good defense by Hulania. Will come back into the game as Mila Savjevic. Well, played some good minutes, of course, but the offense underwhelmingly a bit unproductive. And at the moment, Ego Kid, they don't need to play hero basketball, they gotta play together. That was a problem in the second half against Hulan last week. Ragland dumps down to Johnson. Johnson, caught the double team between Kendrick Gray and Georgievic.
Well, there's a pick and roll play all the way to Kenny. Lays that one up, avoided the block shot. Again, a beautiful little sequence set between Kendra Gray and Tenaskovic. Well, we got a tie gamer at 54 apiece. Hulan now. Trying to retake this one, finding Jones under the basket. Jones kicks this one out. Good ball, man. Raglan, wide open, Les Chaloche. And Tonda Rabat. One more time. Thank you very much to Joe Raglan. The assist coming from Chris Johnson. That's good ball, there from Hulan. Will he go care now? Trailing by three points. A handoff now between Marco Yoshilo. Gets it back here. Got it by Rag. Good defense by Raglan. Well, Ragan, they got numbers, but he's fouled in the full court. Well, look at the foul here. Watch Raglan. Wow. I'm not saying it's too aggressive, but again, you know the way international basketball works, and sometimes you do see those get given because it's a deliberate foul in transition. I'm not saying he went for him deliberately, of course, because from that angle, it looks like he did. But, you know, we didn't get to see from another angle, but, you know, Brian Crawford, I would say, is quite lucky that so Raglan makes the first free throw. Well, he has been king facilitator here in the Basel Champions League. I mean, proving himself to be probably one of the greatest point guards in the seven seasons of the Basel Champions League. Well, Raglan now double-double here tonight. Ten assists, seven, 18 points. Well, if he gets nine more assists, he will even break his own record. There's a kick out now, finds Georgievich. Doesn't get it, he's been quiet here. Dalton comes up with a loose ball. Raglan now running off a few screens. There's a kick out, finds Dalton. Dalton down the middle, finds Johnson goes up and he will miss a layup. Well, I think they're going to call the two points because the net was touched on the place. It's going to be a seven point lead here to Hulania. Well, the Eagle Care, just like they did in the third quarter last week, the cracks are starting to show here. Well, we got a timeout. Let's go and listen to what head coach Dragon Bajic has to say to his players. Well, there's a double double we talked about with Joe Raglan. And again, going back to Dragon Bias' timeout, you can hear him say, patient basketball. They don't need heroes. They need to be collective. You know, they need to be the Ego Care Avengers to avenge last season's, or well, last week's heavy defeat against. Well, there's a quick three by Kendrick Gray. And again, it's that kind of play that yeah, you can't argue with that. It's a good look. He came off the screen. He was wide open, but he's got to knock that one down. Well, Jones, why not from downtown? In and out doesn't get it. Well, he doesn't take many three pointers, and again, you can see why, of course. Well, there's a wide open look contested by Johnson. Good job. Again, it's another quick look there by Eagle Can. Again, Dragon Bayer saying in the timeout, play patience. Play, well, play with patience, that is. Raglan now crossing over, kicks out, finds Mizgap. Again, doesn't get it. Both teams here struggling. 
Well, nobody running here in transition. There's a cross going now. Kendrick Ray here, guided by Hayden Dalton. Ray now going baseline. She wants to contact the fat well. That could be a problem there because Dalton does hold on to his ankle quite awkwardly. Ooh, that looks painful. That looks like it's going to swell. Oh, Frédéric Baudillon will come in here for Aiden Dalton. And Aiden Dalton might be iced up for a few days. And if this goes to a game three, this could be a problem here for Hulan. He definitely rolled that ankle. Hopefully no tendons have been turned there. Have been torn, excuse me. And Molina tries to force one up off the backwards and get the offensive rebound. That's much better. So Naskovic gets the M1. We're coming down a five-point ball game. But it's those kind of plays you got to go for second chances. Hulan now found their confidence, found their identity. But like they did in last week in game one, they went on to win. Taking the lead by as many as 30 points. And it was only a four-point ball game in the third quarter. You know, Igor Kea had a double-digit lead against Hulan in the first quarter. But when you play against Hulania, you got to understand this team goes to four quarters. The depth in this team, the talent. Ego Care, also a very talented team, as Nikola Tanaskovic makes a three point play. Cuts it down to four points. Two possession game here. Well, no Aiden Dalton now, which means Chris Johnson is going to have to play power forward here for Hulan. Jones sets the screen here for Raglan. Raglan pulls up in the mid range, takes it front eye, doesn't get it. A rebound secured by Tanaskovic. Igor Kea. Two possessions away for tying the game up, possibly to take the lead. Ray finding Walla. Walla quiet time. In and out, still doesn't get it, but a foul. So Antavia Walla will go to the free throw line here as Marvin Jones commits the foul on the three pointer. Well, Jones overzealous. Well, Marvin <laughs> Jones trying to argue with the official that he didn't foul him. Listen, I love Marvin Jones. He is one of the best in the business, but I thought he was auditioning for the NFL at that point. Well, Jones has 14 points here tonight. I mean, he is Jones Airlines. Catches lobs. I mean, I've heard rumors that Hulan has turned into Lob City back in Israel, but he should have no arguments with that call whatsoever. CJ Harris now checks into the game here for Hulan. Well, the first free throw made here by Antavia Walla. Well, can cut it down to a one-point ball game if he makes this free throw. Well, I had some good time playing for KK Manabar in the Basketball Champions League back in 2018-19, but started his professional career back in 2010 in Turkey after playing at the University of Auburn, leading in 2010. A one-point ball game. Kulania will lead him by seven. Johnson made his last three. Again, tucks that one away right in front of the Eagle Care bench. Putting it back to two possession game here. Hulan now. That could potentially be the two for one to get the last shot of the third quarter. They must get a stop here on defense. Ego care penetration hanging in the air again. Kissing that one off the backboard. Dragon Milosavljevic. Well, we've got roughly eight seconds difference between the game clock and the shot clock. So Ego care, regardless, will get the ball back. Misgap now uses the high screen here with Jones. Hesitation in the lane. Finds Jones. Jones goes in a little teardrop and gets the bucket. The assist coming from mid Misgap. Beautifully executed. Well, Eagle can now. Well, Kendrick Ray's got to get something going. Ray's got to shoot it. Wallace's got to put it up. It's up. No good from downtown. But the end of the third quarter. Apoel Hulania retain a four point lead here. At the moment, it really has been. It's been a good comeback so far here from Ego Care, but we got it back to one point. There you can see arguments between Dragon Bayic and 
Kendrick Ray. Eight three points for Hulania. Taking the percentage up to 47. Only four for 18 for Igo Kea. Hulana one point couldn't buy a triple. But all of a sudden, the bank is open. Man, cash in the checks, making deposits. Well, let's take a look at the highlights here from the third quarter. What's that kind of play from Delarie? At the end of the free throws, it inboxed him out. But again, beautiful transition with a block on the rim. Chris Johnson doing just enough there, but you can't leave Joe Ragland wide open because Razzle Dazzle will make it rain from downtown. And that was the three by Yoshilo. Brian Crawford getting straight to the bucket. Will not be denied. It's those kind of plays. Ego Kid definitely need the plays to step up. That was a three-pointer. Two trades in the third quarter from Chris Johnson. Big time shots. Well, they were hoping to get an AM1 there, but a beautiful ball reversal. Was Ragland his second tray ball of the third quarter. The assist coming from Johnson. Dole now finding Chris Johnson, the veteran, but he missed the layup, but it will count. It's an interference on the play, but the offensive rebound by Tanaskovic. Not giving up on it, showing the hot. And a deep three from downtown, the second one. Third quarter from Johnson. And you can see Mila Savievich getting straight to the bucket. And this myth gap finding Marvin Jones. End of third quarter. That was their last shot. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Make sure you download the official Basel Champions League mobile phone app on your smartphone, your tablet, your Android. That is the official app of the Basel Champions League. You get all the best stats, highlights, news that matter to you most. Remember, the official Basel Champions League phone app. Also, make sure you subscribe to the Basel Champions League YouTube and to the Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all the social media pages. This is the Basel Champions League. We're in game two of the play-ins for the next two days. Miss gap now. What's up with Pratt finding Jones? Turns it over. Is now Ray will try to push this one. Ray now dishing off under the basket. Oh. Goes up beautifully. Tucked away there by Tanaskovic. But it starts with Kendra Gray taking it in transition. Pushing Hulania down end to end. Well, that might be Niv Misgaps. Time to take a breather. Well, Raglan here finding CJ Harris. Looking for the dump down. Harris now. Two defenders on him finding Jones. He's got to turn around. Jump, but he doesn't get it. That's a poor offense by Hulani. They got to take advantage. Because now you go can't have a chance to tie the game up, possibly retake the lead. Here on the ball. Looking to find a tabby a while, but we got an offensive foul against Tanaskovic. It's those kind of errors. Look, Ego K has done a good job staying in this game here at this stage of the game. Because if you go back to last week, they were down by 30 points at this, this time. But Tanaskovic, what is he thinking? Well, is he planning to book an airline ticket? You can't be moving when you set the screen like that one. Harris goes in, goes right over the backboard, but a foul is going to be called. And again, it's against Tanaskovic. Well, the fourth quarter is becoming a nightmare for him. Well, there's not a lot in that one, of course, but again, it's just a slow recovery on the pick and roll. No communication, no show, no switch. Okay, here, trailing by four points. There's a penetration, turn it over. And now Hulania can push this one, they got numbers. Ragland now, good ball movement in the corner. Bordillion three, Le Chalouche. That's a big time three point, hits the second one of the ball game. That's Frédéric Bordillion. Coming up to seven point ball game now, two for four for the French Israeli. 
Well, Kendrick Ray thought about taking that. Well, this time he does take the three is up and again. It's no good. Well, Bumson has by Sanaskovic. He can't get it. Georgievich gets it. No basket. I don't think they're going to call a foul there against Ego Kea. We'll have to see the replay on that one. I don't know if they call this one against Chris Johnson. Well, let's have a look at the replay. I think they're going to call an over the back foul. So that's going to be a, a close one there. Well, a technical foul has been called. So it's going to be one free throw here to Julania. Well, the tech free throw has been taken. Another foul is going to be committed. There's the alley -oop. Good night! Wow! Lila Tov, Dr. Marvin Jones with the exclamation point. As he's done all game long, this guy is the human highlight reel. Well, another turnover now that can push this one. Ragland now down the lane here, looking for contact, doesn't get it. Can't try to put the moves on, coming off one screen. Deep three, doesn't get it again. Another offensive rebound. CJ Harris with the pump fake, he can't throws it. That goes out of bounds, it's gonna be 14 on the shot clock here for Hulania, 10-point lead to the visitors. Well, Harris now here, heavily guided, trying to put the moves on. Steps back, finds Jones, kicks out Johnson. Third three, yes sir. Nails it for downtown. 13 point lead here to Hulania. Well, there was a three-pointer by Chris Johnson. Well, when Marvin Jones is not getting alley oops, he's definitely getting assists at the time, the kick out. Well, I tell you what you're gonna see tomorrow on the social media platforms for the Basketball Champs League. Marvin Jones probably gets more alley oops than some players get assists and rebounds. <laughs> Just phenomenal. He is the human highlight reel of the Basketball Champions League. Last year was Michael Kaiser, the Kaiserverse now playing for Bill Bow, who they may see at a Final Four. They may see them. Bill Bow's on fire this year, but Hulan just find gems. This team knows how to get good players. Well, there's a turnover now. Rags comes up with it. Rags now trying to go up, but it doesn't get it. Goes out of bounds. It's going to be Hulan born at the moment. Ego K just can't take care of the basketball.
Well, seven minutes away from getting to the round of 16. Well, seven minutes away, maybe, from a game three. Bordillon, two threes, make it three. Frederick. Well, he has come out like a house on fire in this game. Left wide open, punishing Ego Kea. Well, Ego Kea were in this game, but they've just started the fourth quarter very poorly. They force up another three, it's up, no good. And there you can see Bordillon just saying, slow it down here, no need to rush this one. Rags coming off one screen now, looking for options, finds Bordillon. An offensive foul is going to be called against Marvin Jones, and that may be Marvin Jones' fourth personal foul. I don't think it's too much to worry about here for Hulan, but watch Marvin Jones. I'm not sure where the foul is, to be honest. I mean, looks like he's just trying to battle for a post-up. Both players, Tanaskevich, both fighting for ground. There's a penetration now, and Narancic goes in, lays that one up, and I think Narancic may have, should have got a foul there, but cuts it down to 14 points. Game not over. Ego K has got to believe here. they got to give everything. Just over six minutes to go, trailing by 14. Well, there's a pick and roll now. There's a kick out. Raglan has made a few threes tonight. Doesn't get that one. Well, Ego K, well, they almost turned over to keep it alive here. Yashilo. The foul has been committed. Well, the problem for Ego Care, they got 14 fouls. They got no more fouls to give. So my apologies. Marvin Jones does not have four fouls. He has three fouls. So not too much of a worry there, of course, for Pulania. Needs a bull screen here. Milosavljevic using the one screen now. We're going to kick this out. Finds Yashilo. Yashilo spits the defense. Brian now three in the corner. Good defense. Well, no, it's a foul. That's a silly foul to give away because now Razzle Dazzle is going to let Brian Crawford go to the free throw line here for three shots. Well, there's no need to swipe at it. I think Ragland knows that too. I mean, if he just keeps his hands high. He's not flying into him, of course, but he's got to be smarter than that because you don't want to close this game out. You don't want to go to a game three back at Hulam where almost anything can happen. Well, Brian Crawford making the first free throw. But this is going to be big here for Ego Kea, the former Wake Forest player. Same universe as Chris Paul, the great Tim Duncan. Started his professional career with Apoel Gilboa Galil in Israel in the Winter League, where he would have seen he played two games against Kulania, losing both of them. Well, it makes all three, cutting it down 11 points. He now moves up to 11 points. They've taken CJ Harris up again. They brought Niv Mizgav back in. I think what guy Goodis is probably seeing too many scores on the floor. Six on the shot clock now. Rags coming off a bull screen. He's got to get something going. Good defense by Narancic. And now he pushes one. He got numbers. Tanaskovic is fouled. And he'll go back to the free throw line. The foul is on Frederic Modiglian. Well, the Ego Kea still believing. That's a good pass there from Brian Crawford finding Tanaskovic. Well, if he makes these two free throws, he can cut it down to single digits. But we got a timeout now. As Guy Goodis wants to talk it over, let's listen to what he has to say to his Hulania players. Opposite of the ball, foul, okay? 
Chris to Freddy, you are on, uh, CJ to Freddy, you are on. Okay? And then CJ, you open up so you can move on the sideline. Either side to Chris and get the ball. Be ready for trapping. And when we are crossing the upcourt, we don't have a lot of time. We are running the whole chest without a delay. So you're going to bring the ball, come fake, come and go out. You side, you're going opposite side. You don't have time for Well, it's all about composure here for Hulan. They gotta make sure they take care of the basketball. 5-10 to go. Potentially could be a nine-point ball game. But Tanaskovic has to step up, make these free throws here for Igor Kea. But he misses the pressure just getting to him. Well, Nikola Tanaskovic, Serbian international. Originally from Shmedarevska. Palanka in Serbia. Started his career in Belgrade. Also played for the Mega Bemax, the club of the great Joker, Jovic, Goga Batadze. Many say in the academy of Serbian basketball, but at the moment, cuts it down to a 10 point ballgame. Harris splits the defense. Bordilian Pompey, he's made three threes. Make it four. Well, Monsieur Frederic Bordilian, s'il vous plaît. Merci beaucoup. That is a big time three pointer. Maybe silencing the deep, the comeback here from Igor Kea. Well, Igor Kea's got to keep battling back now. Crawford throwing down to Tanaskovic. The post up. Milosavljevic, one leg, it doesn't get it. And Bordignol comes up with it. Just when the momentum was going in their favor, all of a sudden they got to do it all over again. Must get a stop here. Raglan is going to use a ball screen now from. Delorier. Well, Bordiliani, you serious? Oh my goodness gracious! Bordiliani! Somebody call the fire department! This guy is on fuego! Five three pointers for Monsieur Frederic. Well, Naranzic had the three pointers and go for it. On the pass goes, it gets rejected! Well, they're gonna call a foul actually. But then they call call an M1. Cuts it down to a 15 point ball game. You know, hypothetically, it's not impossible here for Ego Care, but they gotta get stops here. Tanaskovic makes the second free throw. Well, 14 point ball game. Well, Hayden Dalton did roll his ankle. He did definitely spray and twist his ankle early, but seems to be moving on it okay, but. We haven't seen Sean Dawson here in the second half, which is interesting. A good full court pressure now, finding Dalton. And the Eagle kid, don't want to sit, the committee fouls, they don't want to send him to the free throw line. It's Harris now, a wise choice to try and slow this one down. Remember, they've got the lead. There's a cross from now, Harris got it by Naranzic. Step back, Harris takes it, doesn't get it. Delore rebound, Bartillion thought about it. But well, you gotta give Frederick the boy. He's got five three pointers. Well, you can see him waiting to get it. But Jimmy on now. Harris. Can he make it six? Hits the front eye and doesn't get it. That would have been icing on the cake for Hulan in now. Igo Kea still alive in this. Just over 310 to go now. Naranzic had the three point, doesn't take it. In the corner. Yoshilo three. Got it! Big time shot. For Marco Yoshilo. Giving Ego K a lifeline. He moves up to 11 points. Cutting it down to 11 point ball game. Kulania, weary of a comeback. Ego K need to get a stop here on defense, but no more fouls to give. Naranzic, well, he's leaving Raglan wide open. Raglan, razzle dazzle. The follow up, well, it's going to be interference. Well, I think that Hayden Dalton touched the basket, so I don't think that should count. 
Hayden Dalton touched the rim. Watch the replay. Razzle dazzle. Watch Dalton right there. But I think they're going to call a foul because Raglan was fouled. So the foul was before. And that's a dagger to Ego Kea. You know, it starts with Naranzic when they're trying to defend the pick and roll. He tries to pull the brace. He doesn't want to commit a foul, but just no recovery there, leaving Raglan wide open, which led to the penetration. And the immediate collapse of the Ego Kea help side defense. Well, Rags makes it two for two from the charity stripe. Well, Ego Kea has got to be quick now. It's a 13 point ball game. Well, good defense by Joe Raglan. Well, Raglan tonight, 13 assists, 20 points. That's what I call just another day at the office for Joe Raglan. Well, the king point guard, you, you got to call him the king PG. 18 assists in one game he's had, breaking the record this year. He tries a quick one, just kisses that one. Off the backboard by Brian Crawford. Well, now it's an 11-point ball game. They don't want to commit a foul here. Cool on now. Happy to see this game over. There's a kick out. Harris, open, three, takes it. Doesn't get it. Delari offensive rebound. And he will go back to the free throw line. Again, it's going to be tough here. Ego KO, miracle time. They're going to need literally three pointers on every possession because you got to think two minutes within the frame of the 24 seconds. And now it's back to a 13 point ball game. They needed stops on defense. Well, you got to be quick here. They can't waste the time as Durant is trying to post up against Raglan. Crossco in the corner, finding Crawford. Three is up. Three is no good. Now the rebound is secured by Hulania. And again, Hulan, no need to rush it. Raglan will take his time. Well, Harris is going to run this down now. And the foul is committed, so CJ Harris will go to the free throw line. Foul is on Marco Yoshilo. And you can see the body language of Igo Kea. Well, it's been tough because Ego Kea is definitely talent in this team. The problem is the balance of this talent, trying to figure out how to play together. Well, CJ Harris, good return to him for Hulan. Remember, he played in 2020-21 when they made it to the quarterfinals, losing to eventual champions, Arena San Pablo Borgos. Well, the foul has been committed on Hayden Dalton's, well, by Hayden Dalton, so Yashil will go to the free throw line. But, you know, it's been progression after progression here for Hulania. First three seasons, they have the record, actually, for most points in the game. And that was against Polski Suke Toronya back in 2019 when they shot the lights off on the perimeter. Well, they had players back then such as Shlomi Harush. After the departure of Guy Panini, due to his near retirement now, there's no remaining faces from Hulania's first entry to the Basel Champions League. Their first ever game in the Basel Champions League was against Ukam Murthia. Ukam Murthia that year had players such as Vita Benite and Ovi Soko making it to the Final Four. Ukam Murthia tomorrow will be taking on Pinar Kashiaka, also won a win away from booking their tickets into the round of 16. Twelve point ball game now. Over a minute to go here. Yala Hulania, the same back in Israel.
that back now. Harris takes it, doesn't get it. And the rebound secured here. As they try to push him off. Why not go for three, Yashilo? Well, Crawford will take it. He'll put it up, doesn't get it. The follow up. No for the foul has been called, so Tanaskovic will go the free throw line again for two shots. The foul is on CJ Harris. Well, that's a good question. Where is Baby Jokic? Well, Baby Jokic had 18 points in the first half. Well, Stefan Djordjevic had 18 points and he was five rebounds away from a double-double. We haven't seen him here. Tadaskovic makes a second one, cutting it down, 11 point ball game. 48.6 seconds to go. Hulania again on the way to the round of 16. Achim Sagolim, you can hear them singing back in the bars of Israel. Yala Hulania, they're saying. Mine goes out of bounds, but. That's going to be possession back to well, deep three by Naranzic. Naranzic, the three is up. And that's way off the mark, and that says it all. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Oedim Apoel Kulania Achim Sagulim, Mishpacha Sagula, the Purple Brothers, the Purple Family, as they would say. In Hebrew, they're gonna say it. Apoel Hulania Olech Lenatsiach. Apoel Hulania Olech. The round of 16 of the Basel Champions League. Congratulations to Hulania. Well, the Hulan fans, Sagolim Achim, are saying back home, Yala Hulania. And they will meet their arch rivals. Apoel Bank Yehav Yahushalayim. Hulan wins the Basel Champions League play ins. They sweep Ego Kea. Joe Raglan, the King facilitator, Dr. Dime, has led his team once again with Chris Johnson, CJ Harris. And what a shooting night from Frederic Baudillon. Unbelievable stuff here. Well, there you can see the stats, of course. 13 three pointers for Julania. Five of them coming from Baudillon. And they out rebounded Ego Kea 31 to 28, as well as 26 assists. 12 steals from Ego Kea. Well, Djordjevic, baby Jokic leading the way for Ego Kea with 18. 20 for Raglan, 18 for Jones, and 15 for Bodilion. Well, let's take a look at the highlights momentarily here from this game. What a game it was. Momentarily, we will take a look at the highlights, but Hulan fans, you can celebrate. You're on your way to the round of 16. You'll be going up against Apoel Bank. You have your Hushalim. We're going to have an Israeli Winter League derby in the Basel Champions League. Well, again, it's a lot of second chance points that Igo K gave up here against Hulania. There will not be a game three between these two teams. If you're wondering how some of the other games went here tonight, of course, had some fantastic finishes so far. There's more games to watch here in the Basel Champs. Look, ladies and gentlemen, you can also catch last few seconds, Paris Thierry Bwin trying to take this to a game three against Jadia Dijon. Well, also, Bache Kolegi, they're taking on Fulu Sten at the moment, and they have a quite a big lead at the end of the first quarter. Well, I got up. The champions of 2018, they're going through with a three-point lead against Tofash along with Hulania. Well, make sure you transfer over and watch the game, Jadia Dijon versus Paris Thierry B-Win. Paris Thierry up by three points with seconds left in the game. So 
what a game it was here. The three-point shooting for Hulan. Just the icing on the cake that settled it all here tonight. Well, Kendrick Ray finding Tanaski with the basket. But again, other players need to step in and step up here tonight. It just wasn't the case. But the three-point shoot in front, Frédéric Baudelion. Another deep three by Baudillon. Maybe hit five of those in the game. Remember, transfer over Jadia Dijon. Oh, excuse me. Yes, exactly. Against Perisiri B win. 29 seconds left in the game. Perisiri have the ball. Transfer over Basel Chamsey Plains. Jadia Dijon up in the series, 1 to 0. Well, it's a one-point ball game, excuse me. So, Paris Theory up by one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for joining us here. Laku Notch, Apuel Atzmokulan. There you can see Paris Theory Bewin at the moment, currently leading by one point with 26.7 seconds to go against Dijon. Dijon leading the series. Transfer over. This is the Basel Champs League. Good night here from Laktashi.